is your host of Late Night with Andrew Dink, Mr. Andrew Dink himself. Yes, yes, welcome to the Late Night Show, you know, in the salsa mood, you know, because, you know, after you, after the Spanish news, you know, you're in the mood, yeah, you know. <laughs> kiki, kiki, all right. <clears throat> welcome to the show. Um, it's another day, um, and we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And let me tell you something, the stylings of the Late Night Show, you know, all those sexy suits I just be wearing all the time. You see, I'm from St. Martin because I say I just be wearing, yes. All the clothes that I wear on the program, I get at New Vibrations Boutique. New Vibration Boutique, and that's on the, 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 the back street. You know, as soon as you go down back street, you pass the last bus stop, then you continue going, and then you see a big sign saying New Vibrations Boutique, and just tell them Andrew Dick send you, you'll get a good discount on your suit. They also have wedding dresses you can order, um, communion. Um, somebody die, you know, they can set you up. Not with some killing somebody, but with <laughs> the clothes for going to their funeral. But you can't pay them to kill somebody. <laughs> Let me get that straight. Okay? New Vibrations Boutique. Okay. Um, you know, one thing I, I don't understand, every time I go out on the road, every time I go out on the road, I see a lot of people mistaking me, and I don't have nothing against, uh, you know, those people, but it's, it's actually kind of offensive that every time I walk, um, people mistake me for a Haitian. Now, I, I, I don't have nothing against Haitians. I mean, the Haitians are cool people. I mean, I had three girlfriends on the side that were, my, um, that were from Haiti, and um, I, I, and they was good side girlfriends, and they was, uh, they was good to me. Um, I mean, one made, uh, made me lose some hair. Uh, I guess that's why I have this gray patch here. But they was good to me. I know I don't have nothing against them, you know. So, and some, one of them had given me some chest pain too. But I mean, that was a long time ago. I then I kind of had cheated on her with her sister, so. She was kind of upset with that. But anyway, I don't have nothing against um, Haitians, and I, I love them. Um, but um, every time I go out on the road, especially when I go in a bus or when I walk down the, the road in, 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 in Front Street or Back Street, a lot of Haitians come to me. Oh, God, blue, 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 blue. Yeah, that's my, that's my um, French Patois accent. So that's the best I have. Sorry. Blue, 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 blue. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I'm from Suriname. I'm Dutch. I can only speak Dutch. And English, but I like English more because I have a good vocabulary, you know. Um, and if it's not a Haitian that I've been mistaken for, it's a Curacaoan. Now, let me tell you about a Curacaoan. The Curacao, Curacao people are one of the best people you can deal with. The reason why is because they are very creative and very, um, very, how you see. They're very, I don't want to say cheap now, wait, wait, because, because I know when I do this, you're thinking it's cheap and disgustingly cheap, like they would even not even give it to their own family, but it's not that, wait, um, they're economic, economic, economically, <laughs> economically, I just, I just remember that my editor um, it's uh, from Curacao. Yes, so I have to ease down before all of a sudden you start to see black, you know. And, oh, yes, you see, he, he could do that, you know, only him, you know. All right, okay, fine, fine. Curacao people are thumbs up. Good. No problem. All right. Uh, late night show at Anadek. Um, today we have a good program for you. Now, gas prices are up, and we have our economic experts that is coming on the show today and going to be talking to you about it because it's ridiculous. And also we have some good entertainment. So it's a late night show with Andrew Dick. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks. I'm going to dance some little salsa or some more. Eee! I got to get my assistant to dance later. <laughs> Welcome back to the late night show with Andrew Dick. And of course, it's time for our Ask and you shall receive segment and this is where we bring um, our top of the top experts 
of the late night show now listen they have degrees in um they have business associates they have master's degrees and um they they're very qualified people that uh we bring to the show whereby we ask them a serious question a, a series of questions and um hopefully we can get a consensus about um the whole issue that we're going to be speaking about right now now um we have our analyst today and um Mr. Daniel Jeffers, Mr. Jeffers, good um, evening. Everything okay? Yes. Okay. Now let's get into it because a lot of people are um, very concerned about gas prices. Gas prices has gone up. I know you ho you have a master's in economics. Yes. Yeah, so, Mr. Jeffers, um, what we want to know because I mean a lot of people need to know this. Um, the gas prices on Saint Martin, why so high? The Middle East. <laughs> okay, the Middle East, yes, um, because the Middle East is um, um, the origin of um, where gas comes from, and especially in here in the Caribbean. But um, so expensive. Um, why is that? It has to come from the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but as far as the price, the price, the consumption of gas here is is is, is a lot. I mean, um, um, we have a lot of cars on Saint Martin. Um, do you ever s you see it going down anytime soon? No. <laughs> no. Can you um, somewhat elaborate? Um, why do you think it's not gonna go down soon? Because it comes from the Middle East. <laughs> it comes from the Middle East, yes. Um, but I'm sure there's a lot of studies that has been done um, before whereby um, people, um, the reaction to gas increase, uh, it makes the, 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 the standard of living very low. So then um, isn't that a big concern for um, the survival of the country? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So then, um, how can we um, change the mentality of people always worrying about gas um, and gas increase? Because it's something that is very important. Taxi drivers, bus drivers, people with cars. Um, how, how can we change that mentality, that mindset? Stop worrying about it. <laughs> Stop worrying about it. But it's there. The, the prices are high. So then um, it's, it could go higher then? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but have you done any research um, where people, uh, and, and especially markets such as a um, St. Martin market, um, whereby you decrease the prices of gas uh, wouldn't that be much better for um, the public at hand? Yes. Yes, okay. So, that means, so, um, that means that um, St. Martin, on a whole, should then just take the prices of gas being high. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is it, is, it, is it in your opinion as an educated expert, what would you say to people out there who are screaming and crying out and upset and want the gas prices to come down? Don't you think it's the government responsibility to listen to the cries of the people and understand that they have to bring it down as soon as possible? Okay. <laughs> and you have a bachelor's in economics? Yes. Well, um, if you have to talk to the people and you have to watch that camera, uh, Mr. Jeffers, what would you tell them? What explanation would you give them 
concerning the gas prices being so high on St. Martin? Comes from the Middle East. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thank you for your um, expert opinion, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Um, hopefully, uh, we, we, we get to see a decrease anytime soon, and if not, then people shouldn't worry about it. No. All right, late night show with Andrew Dick. Um, to special thanks to our um, unpaid consultant because I'm paying him. For, anyway, <laughs> our, our um, consultant, Mr. Jeffers. Uh, thank you so much for coming, and um, hopefully, there won't be a next time. Okay. <laughs> but due to the fact that um, it comes from the Middle East, um, it has to be shipped and um, diesel and all of that. <laughs> but that all drives up the prices. So. Wait, 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 wait. We just, we, 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 we come in down to the end of the program, so now you, now you, you feel to elaborate. I mean, when I was asking you all the time, you, you seem a little bit hesitant, and now you're explaining, so it's, what, what was that about? Because it comes from the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, I understand it comes from the Middle East, but I was asking you before to elaborate, and you, you didn't elaborate, so I... Oh, you want to elaborate, okay. Well, the factor of crude... What? <laughs> um, ...has to be no, no. refined. No, no, but you see, the time already passed, so... We can't elaborate now. Uh, I thought you would have did that before the program, you know, at the when I was asking you questions. <laughs> I did it before. No, no, you didn't. It comes from the Middle East. Yeah, I know it comes from the Middle East. I know it comes from the Middle East, but you know you. Ah, uh, all right. Late night show with Andrew Dick. Um, we're gonna. Yeah, be right back and now. Uh, thanks, Mr. Jeffers. As I was saying, um, crude gets refined in the refineries. So this process takes um, several. Yeah, Mr. Jeffers, it's 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 over the interview. We're going to a commercial break now. You're hold, you're holding back the time. It's a spot. It's like you have a certain amount of time to talk, and now it's over. So now we go. Precisely, there is a spot in which um, the oil drills drill in order to reach this crude. And once um, you get the crude, it gets refined in the Middle East. We'll be right back. <laughs>